Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys an update on my experience with the Dell Streak 5. Now again, this is a 5-inch Android tablet that also doubles as a smartphone. You can pick this up with a two-year contract through AT&T, or you can go with an unlocked model and pick your GSM carrier of choice. Now, in my initial impressions video, I really just showed you guys what you get out of the box, so today I wanted to focus on actual performance. So let's start with Flash 10.2 and how it runs on this Snapdragon-powered device. Again, this is over Wi-Fi, not 3G. Here we go. Laptop. As you can see on the front here, we've got our multimedia uh, card reader. On the right side, you've got uh, an eSATA port, microphone, SPDIF, and two uh, headphone jacks. I think you guys get the idea. No problems handling Flash content at all. You know, it's on par with every other Android device uh, in this class range. As you can see, Swipe pre-installed. I do prefer SwiftKey, but uh, you know, Swipe is a nice touch to get out of the box. They could have gone stock. They chose not to. I give Dell credit for that. Also, really like the haptic feedback. Let's go ahead and do some web browsing. Pop over to Engadget. As you can see, we are running on my Wi-Fi network, so keep that in mind. This is not, uh, you know, 3G. So this is not indicative of, uh, you know, AT&T or T-Mobile's uh, service. And, you know, it, it runs well. There's not much to be said about the experience here. You know, it's a spacious screen. If you're really looking for an all-in-one device, then, you know, this may be it for you because clearly that's who Dell is targeting, a user who wants one device to rule it all in terms of both tablet and smartphone capabilities. I have to say the 5-inch screen size really is uh, you know dramatically larger despite uh, the initial uh, logic that you would think that it would not be that much larger than a 4.3 inch smartphone it really does lend to a much better browsing experience so I could see how someone could use this as their everyday uh, tablet however if you're someone looking you know for a 7 or 10 inch then it may it probably won't suit your needs in my opinion battery life has been pretty good let me show you guys another website can't really give you solid battery life numbers simply because I have not been using it as a phone, only as an Android tablet. Let's go to the full site here on CNN. Taking a little bit longer to load, but uh, there you have it. It's usually not that sluggish, I can tell you again, like I pointed out to you guys, not the best reception here right now, but, uh, you know, performance is good. It's certainly up to snuff with all the other uh, 1 gigahertz uh, powered, uh, whether it's Snapdragon or OMAP uh, processors out there. It's a solid performer, you know, it's got enough RAM, it's got that dual camera feature, which is something obviously now that's becoming very prominent on all the high-end devices. So it definitely keeps itself up there in the race. You know, not as speedy as these 4G devices we're seeing now, like the Thunderbolt, as well as the slew of other ones that are, you know, about to launch, uh, both on Verizon as well as other carriers. Let me go to another web page. Oh, we already went to CNN. Let's go to ESPN. Got the mobile version. You can see, uh, I mean, this loaded up very quickly. Granted, it was a mobile version. It had no problem loading up quickly. I think it might just be an issue with CNN tonight because there you go, you've got ESPN and it really didn't uh, hesitate too much there on the load time. So pretty quick device and uh, you know impressed with the performance. I can tell you the screen quality again is really good. Uh, do like as I pointed out in the initial impressions the uh, Gorilla Glass and uh, viewing angles are good. Uh, just overall the brightness uh, is just great. Uh, puts other phones to shame. I mean if you get this thing side by side you will notice uh, they did not come up short on the quality of this uh, 800 by 480 5-inch uh, capacitive multi-touch screen. So, I'm trying to think of other things to show you guys. Um, regarding the actual camera quality, this VGA front camera, don't get too excited about. I mean, it's very basic and uh, it's there to do exactly what it promises, which is allow video conferencing. Uh, it's not high quality, you know, it's not the 1.3 megapixels and up that's offered on most smartphones and tablets out there right now. But I think that at its price point, it's a great value. The rear 5 megapixel camera is slightly better, of course, since it is a 5 megapixel sensor. And it's pretty much on par with many of the other uh, smartphones out there like the Droid 2, uh, anything pretty much that has a 5 uh, megapixel sensor. It's not going to stand up to any of the 8 
megapixel sensors. Now clearly I am aware that sensors are relative to their size in terms of quality. Not going to get into that, but just wanted to give you an idea of what this 5 megapixel rear cam is capable of. Um, beyond web browsing, again, you know, you've got that stage UI that Dell preloads on here uh, atop of Froyo. Not a bad thing. Uh, I do like to see companies taking initiative to customize your experience. As far as how great an experience it is, clearly that's going to be subjective. As you can see, you can bring up settings using obviously the setting button. Everything is very standard uh, Froyo otherwise other than the actual stage UI. Let me go ahead and pull up a game for you guys. Here's a little Angry Birds. Now as you can see, uh, you know, everything looks really good. No question about it. It is definitely a different experience to uh, be using a 5-inch device rather than obviously a 10 uh, or 7-inch tablet, but still really usable. And that's why I think uh, Dell makes a really good case here for this being uh, a device that can do it all. Let's jump out of Angry Birds. By the way, the speaker quality on the device, really good. Um, you know, not really seeing any hiccups in performance, and I think that's what's really important. Again, the uh, phone dialer, which I thought I just brought up, but apparently did not. Let's try that again. As you can see, pretty basic. If I flip it into uh, portrait, you can see that's a little bit more of what a phone would look like. Again, I want to give you guys some scale, so I'm going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and get that back into its proper orientation, if it permits. Put that down and just show you guys uh, a little bit of scale. Let me prop this up and bring out the angle rather. So uh, here we have the original droid next to it and you can see the original dro uh, droid clear uh, clearly is you know dwarfed by this device. If I bring in something a little bit larger like the droid X, again you can see that it's uh, substantially uh, smaller when it comes to screen real estate. And I think that's what you have to keep in mind. A lot of people, again, think that the 5-inch screen really isn't going to prov provide that much more space, but it really does. And there you've got the, uh, the Thunderbolt, of course. So, I mean, that should give you guys a pretty good idea of scale. I'll even throw in the Incredible. This way you guys get a full range of devices. So, really, definitely much larger than these other phones, but again, this is targeting a user that really wants one device uh, you know, that can do everything. And I think that if that's what you're looking for, the Dell Streak does deliver. It'll be interesting to see what they follow this up with. Uh, um, you know, I don't, don't believe that it was the greatest success out there because, again, it really does deliver to uh, a niche crowd that is looking for a device that can do it all, that they can carry in their bag, or a pretty large pocket because I have to say, you know, it's not the most pocket-friendly device, but still really thin. Uh, really light, arguably about the same weight, a little bit heavier than the Thunderbolt with the extended battery, which by the way I'll be giving you guys an update on that. You can see that hump there. Um, so, you know, in the same weight class even though this has a 5 inch screen. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later!